and we're live. Make their own place. Yeah. What do you yeah. think's next in the chopping block? Other than guns. Huh. Um for YouTube, I mean specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. free speech. Explosives. Um well, you know, they've they they've uh they already you know that that's been a long standing that thing. Was already... show, like yeah, yeah, like like making them um or, or that's another rule where you trailblazed, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Um you know you, you walked that razor's edge. <laughs> I you know, you just do it and the legal burn way. the bridge behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it le the legal way. I didn't blow him. I I'm not the guy that blew my leg off with a track with a lawnmower, right? He's the one that fucks shit up for everybody else. And himself. And himself. I'd rather no. be the guy who's not allowed to upload bomb videos to the internet than the guy with no leg or legs. Did he, yeah. lose, did he lose a whole leg? I think he lost the leg. I, I think yeah. we've watched that video before yeah. where he's standing super close and you pointed out like, so where you'd want to be for this is about <laughs> five times further away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, It's funny because I watched it and thought like, okay, he's making a, a dangerous choice here. But it wasn't so crazy to me. It wasn't like I was like I, I, I sometimes I watch people make mistakes and think that's a mistake I could have made. Probably wouldn't have, you know, never had before. But he couldn't hit it or it wasn't going off, so he got to where he really could, and he was mm -hmm. like fifteen feet away. And darn it, the luck it went straight to him. It's like the oh, he's so I mean, close to it. Of Is course, the familiarity with the explosive like helps, like to know. He so hit of course, Kyle knows right he away. He could hit it with a rock from where he is. How far is I, it? Fifteen yards. See, forty-five feet. I, I feel oh, like that ain't even close. It's not enough. But when we talk about things coming at you, you know, I, I picture the three hundred and sixty degrees on the compass. It, it, three hundred and fifty-seven of those were safe. I, that's just not accurate. I would say, see, it 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 goes in all directions in a in a dispersed pattern, right? Like 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 many many of those degrees were not safe, and he's taken up like let's say five degrees with his body with at that range. He's so goddamn close to at it. Forty five feet. And he's so close to this thing. Like like, I, I well, want to find a clean video. I of am it. an amateur Russian at best. Yeah yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I, I've seen a lot. First of all, that's not the thing, the kind of thing you want to blow up, right? Like I've had little incidents myself, but it's a, and that's why I know, right? Like, like I'm not saying I've never had a little. You learned. We little, all have calls. our own expertise yeah. about stuff like that. Kyle knows explosives. If Woody were watching a YouTube video about running off of a cliff with a paramotor, and the guy's like, "All right, I've got nine feet to run before <laughs> the edge of the cliff," you'd know. And any videos about homeless people. <laughs> I know how far to keep a distance there. I had a homeless encounter just yesterday. I tweeted about where I was wa I, I was near where I live, and this guy came up and was like, clearly like on something. He was like, hey, can I clean your windows? Clean your windows? Anything helps? And I was like, no, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. But I wasn't even in my car. <laughs> I was walking down the street, and this guy with his spray bottle and handful of wadded up newspapers asked if he could clean my windows which i think was clearly just a way for me to lead him back to where my car was so that he could rob me or something oh, or find out where it was for later i was wondering what his end game was i was like what if you had said yes yes clean my windows yeah huh. my car is <laughs> right over there the one with the lights no, on top just, yeah <laughs> you're not I, see i didn't even think of you know, you're gonna take him to a car it was just like yeah clean them where are my windows in this scenario you gonna get my armpits? You gonna yeah, no. lube up I, my I'm chest? Not letting, I'm not letting that guy touch me. <laughs> oh, because come on. He, oh, he was a god. Are we I ready watched to watch this quarter, together? Yeah, I just watched it in quarter yeah. speed to like get a. Do you want to do that yeah. together? Quarter speed, um, for everybody. If you start at twenty-two how do do, seconds, how do you do quarter speed? Click the gear, go to speed, and click point two five. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, from 22 seconds. Ready, set, play. It's going well so far. And his leg is gone. Look at the blood. Blood on the lens. Blood on his pants. Blood in the air. It's, it's gushing. I blew my leg off. Oh, shit. Does he just have one leg today? Uh, I would. No way they found it to put it back on.
I mean, they found it, but I don't. You, know, you can't reattach that. Shit. You know that when I look at that distance, I mean, clearly Kyle knows that's ridiculous. <sighs> it's a lawnmower. See, all right, so, so there's a lot of factors, right? The Lay distance is important. Uh -huh. The amount of explosives that are in there important. The composition of the explosives, how they're the type and how they're packaged together, is important. But the target's important too. Like, like this thing is made out of heavy gauge steel. Like there are lawnmower blades in it, presumably, right? Like, like, I mean, it, it's it's heavy stuff. A refrigerator is pretty light, you we know. All like, I know, like if you put an explosive in a barrel with a lid on it, that lid's gonna go, pew, right, farther and faster than you might have expected. You know, if you, if it's a barrel with no lid upside down, the barrel's gonna go. Pew. So a lawnmower is not that much different than an upside down barrel. I can see how it flew. Do you know in the same sort of like it's it's a, heavier. It's it's it, it, lawnmowers are heavier gauge steel, right? Yeah, they're yeah. bigger chunks of it. They're attached differently. They're, there's there's heavy bolts and stuff in it's there. It's almost designed to be propelled by an explosive in the way that like an upside down barrel is. That's what I'm headed at. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's got the little yeah yeah I switch. Yeah. yeah yeah. And I don't know where the explosives were placed either. That it, that matters. You know, if he put them on the seat of the thing, he'd been fine. But it, I think he put them under it or something, like maybe down by where the blades are. I don't know that a blade hit him or whatever, but something hit him hard enough to cut his goddamn leg off, which is just awful. You know, it's the worst thing that happened. And and you know, there's and he didn't make any money. You know, when I I when I, I, I was blowing he lost shit a lot up. of money having to get his yeah you know yeah. leg stump fixed. Yeah, I, I was blowing shit up and getting paid to do it. You know, like like this guy's just like this will be fun. Like like. I, <laughs> There's no way, like, like in my spare time when I wasn't making a bit, I wasn't doing stupid shit like this. I never mm -hmm. would. That's crazy. But no, somebody has to pay you to do something this stupid. He volunteered. Watching shit like that, it's like, like to permanently lower your quality of life by such a huge amount. For it's not even, it's not like losing your leg in a war where it's like, well, yeah, I was out there and I got, you know, my leg got shot off, but I was in war, and that's what happens. You know, people would, they still respect that shit, you know? It's like you were wounded. This, he doesn't even have a cool story. <laughs> the rest of his life, anytime someone brings it up, he's going to have to explain, well, I was being a dumbass and was standing 16 yards from a lawnmower that I was blowing up. He has to look down at that stump or his super expensive leg every day, and he just probably wants to punch himself in the face. God, I would not fuck around with explosives like that. Yeah, that that's stupid. Like, like if you're doing it for fun, you get way back. You get something between you and the target, and you don't you don't place them in something like that. Like, like we've you know I've shot targets that are dangerous like that, but always from a long distance away. Like, like if we're doing it for fun, you know, and we don't and the you know the camera shot isn't important or whatever. Like, like we would blow up toilets. That's incredibly dangerous. Ceramic. You were a foot heavy. away from sharing a leg with that guy. Uh, yeah, maybe potentially, yeah. It'd been worth it. It absolutely wouldn't. Dude, I'd have gotten a peg leg gun. You know how badass that would be? If my gun shot bullets? <sighs> Please. If your leg worth. shot bullets? Yeah, like, I would have a peg leg, and, and, it, and I'd, like, I'd, I'd like pull my leg up, and it, it, it'd be like... The shotgun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd have a pump action fucking peg leg or something, you know? I, I, I'd, it'd be integrally suppressed. Um, I mean, there are worse ideas. I'm Googling to find out what happened to this guy's leg. Uh, you know, because I want to find one that's from like, you know, two years later or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're talking about you, Kyle. Like somehow you're at fault for this. The f ah. People. Of course. YouTuber FPS Russia is what we like to call here at CNN a bad influence. What's he <laughs> doing to your children? Up next after <laughs> 90 seconds of commercials. Yeah. yeah that Maybe don't copy the professional russian with the tank hmm. you never know he might have an ambulance and a crew of 15 behind him he may but who who knows he never showed that on camera so i assume it's just a couple of bumpkins from around the area who showed up <laughs> and are and are yucking you know as, as they watch the whole thing go down <laughs> now that that happens sometimes too the bumpkins like to show up and yuck you ain't been here before this is my friend lamar's boy <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally went down, you know. There's pumpkins all over the country that would show up for that shit. There were some in New Mexico that showed up. I got rather close to an explosion we did with the tank one time for no apparent reason. You couldn't warn them off. We're like, look, we're about to do this thing, and we don't have any authority to send you away. But that 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 88 millimeter anti tank gun is about to go off, and and, and, and that hunt that hunt over there is gonna vaporize, and the vapor's coming at you. 
And they're just Going like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, do it. Like, All right. I'm going to be in a tank. I don't care. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I mean, it would have been fun to watch. If I were around, I would have watched from probably, you know, 30% farther away than you were, at the very least. Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to get fucked. Yeah. That would suck. Cool High me. risk, no reward, the way this guy lives his life. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was that was foolish. And, 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 like, I don't understand. I don't know. He should have been farther away from the damn thing, you know? And, and, and like... It, you could see what happened. Like he he missed it a few times, and then he got frustrated and like stepped closer to it or tried to get like a different angle on it. Like like he should have slowed down and been like, you know what? Wait a minute. Instead of getting closer, maybe we should get farther away. This is retarded. Uh, I would never. Couldn't he have like stood partially behind a tree or something? Yeah, anything. Because right? he's like right in the middle of that path. Like he's Rambo. Like, yeah. Go behind a large tree. Or just go further away. Or just go home, finish your GED, and start <laughs> contributing. Oh, you know, man. Burger King didn't take him back after this. He can't be a sous chef there anymore. Aww. He lost his leg, Taylor. Yeah, I know. That Burger King doesn't don't play no shit. They got to get you in and out. An equal he can't be clicking and clacking back there with his, you know, <laughs> fucking uh, uh, the Paralympics foot. <laughs> always taking a little, always shoulders bouncing up and down. <laughs> uh, it I looks saw like uh, he lost his leg below the knee. I'm not finding anything that says otherwise. Uh, yeah, and he used three pounds of tannerite.